This is what you might have missed on BCSN's Sports Nightly. Rogers will host Southview this Friday night for their season opener. It'll be the first with their new head coach. Unfortunately, that phrase is something all too familiar to the Rams, who had three head coaches in two weeks last season, with the latest name two weeks before the start of the, uh, the football season. But this time, Marcus Waugh says he's here to stay. Quick feet karaoke. When you first look at new Rogers head coach Marcus Waugh, one thing comes to mind. He looks like he could still play. He was District Defensive Player of the Year and First Team All-State at St. John's. At the University of Cincinnati, he played on the D-line, plus linebacker and hybrid fullback slash tight end. You might not instantly think punter, but he was All-State at that position his junior year of high school. Still got it. Does that mean something to these kids here that they, you're a guy who's played? I, I, hope it, I hope it means something to them. I mean, I've... You know, I try to set the example that, you know, if I can get to a Division One college, um, then they can as well. Uh, it just takes a lot of hard work. It takes dedication to the program, and it takes, uh, you know, doing other things that, that other kids aren't willing, aren't willing to do, and that's the extra film study. That's the extra workouts. That's the extra running after practice. That's while you're not at practice, you're doing something that's, that's going to help you, whether it's eating right, getting better sleep, uh, you know, getting good, your good, studies done, because this is a small part of it. Boy yeah, has done his homework on the Rogers football program. Just last year, the Rams had three heads coaches in the month leading up to the season opener. It's about continuity here and the kids have lacked that in the last, uh, last almost three years they've lacked continuity with all the head coaches they've gone through and um, you know the, the belief in the program has gone down way down with the kids and to be able to come out here and to show them every single day since December when I was hired that I've been here every single day for them and I've been here and they know that how much I care for them and that, that continuity I think has, has brought new life into the program. It's great to have a coach like him. He had, he's the only coach that had faith in us. He stepped up, and he's planning on standing here. What was that like last year going through all that stuff in the beginning of the year for you guys? It was it was sad, but nobody wanted to go through that, nobody. So this year now with Coach Wall, you say he's a good coach. What does it mean to have a guy who you know is not going anywhere now? We should put some points on the board and win. And while it may say on a T-shirt, winning is everything, Coach Wall will tell you that's not the case. Football only lasts ever so long. I did it for 14 years and I was done. So then these kids got to know that you gotta, there's something more to football, and that's what I've been trying to teach them. Break it down, let's go to work. Yes, hurry up, hurry up, break it down. down. Let me get a red on three, red on three. One, two, three. Red! Be sure to watch Sports Nightly weeknights at 10.30 on BCSN and follow us on Twitter at sports underscore nightly.